For any gamer who spent countless hours on RPGs like Shining Force and Chrono Trigger, for any sci-fi nerd who's read his or her fair share of HP Lovecraft, and for anyone who's up for a whole mess of references on the two subjects, this game is for you. Indie game development outfit Zboard Games, developers of like-minded RPG tribute Breath of Death 7 The Beginning, proudly presents a delightful take on the world of nerdiness with its production of Cthulhu Saves the World, and the title is just the beginning of an introduction to a world populated with stereotypical NPC dialogue and top-down third-person perspectives. It almost works like an abridged version of your favorite RPG you used to jam on your SNES. You control the famous HP Lovecraft cosmic monstrosity known as Cthulhu, if that's how you pronounce it. Diehard fans of the great sci-fi author maintain that it cannot be pronounced by the human tongue, and it's more like Call of K uh, uh, oh, or something. So, the evil cosmic monstrosity that is now the subject of many cute stuffed animals and fanfictions has finally hitched up the work ethic to cause insanity and terror among humankind once and for all. But, he has a small problem. Some squeaky clean hero type has sabotaged Cthulhu's plans and suddenly, the tentacled fellow finds himself watched up on shore, devoid of all his horrible powers. The silly narrator says a little too much in his opening description, however, and Cthulhu finds out through eavesdropping that he must do the impossible and become a true hero to get his monstrous powers back. That's right, he has to save the world in order to destroy the world. So, in order to become that true hero, you must control Cthulhu and whoever is sidekick enough to tag along with him and put up with his delightfully scornful attitude through 6 to 10 hours of epic 16-bit gameplay that would make old-school RPG fans like myself giggle with happiness. If there's anything I like about the indie game explosion released via Steam or Xbox Live, it's the amount of fan service that caters to those that still look back nostalgically at 16-bit dungeoneering, fighting monsters, and stumbling across treasure chests that give you that extra edge to your adventure. Cthulhu is a sweet and simple tribute to those days as he travels through towns like Miskatonia and Dunwich with his combination groupie and sidekick, the blue-haired trident-toting Umi, along with four other playable characters you'll join up with along the way. An important part of this game is the battle system that is a reference to old Final Fantasy titles and Earthbound. Attacks are illustrated by the enemy's reaction, which can be highlighted if Cthulhu or his cohorts perform an attack that makes the enemy go insane. What impressed me most about this aspect is that each enemy in the game has their own comical description and a unique insane design that just screams, OH GOD! IT'S THE COMBINATION OCTOPUS, DRAGON, AND HUMAN CARICATURE! Sound and music is tailor-made for the retro RPG fan, and I've walked away from playing this game multiple times, incessantly whistling the wonderfully catchy battle theme. Although the less seasoned nerd may miss the myriad references to Lovecraft's work, and even as far as a tribute to Tetsuya Nomura and his Beltman, Cthulhu Saves the World is an extremely likable work that will have you laughing out loud through an action-packed satire that everyone can get into. Even if you can't pronounce Nglui, Nglonafa, Cthulhu, Earlier, Wagnagl,